Hello everyone, this is Successful Stories series with Successful Business Analysts Practitioner. I am Rashmi from Tech Canvas, your host for this session. Tech Canvas is an edtech organization providing several business analysis certifications. Tech Canvas is an endorsed education provider for IIBA. IIBA stands for International Institute for Business Analysis, one of the leading organizations in the domain. So the intention of this interview is to bring out stories of successful business analysts so that it inspires aspirants who are on their business analysis journey. So today we have invited Shalesh Savant. He has recently cracked IIBA ECBA certification examination. Congratulations Shalesh and welcome to the session. Thank you. Thank you Rashmi. So now let us begin Shalesh. Um, can you please introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah, uh, so hello everyone uh, and thanks Tech Canvas to giving me this opportunity to share my experience with everyone. Uh, my name is Shailesh Ravant and uh, I have total seven years of experience in uh, investment banking domain. Uh, and uh, I started my journey as a production support analyst uh, with one of the leading IT firm for an investment banking uh, project. And later on, uh, I started developing some interest towards business analysis and I was trying to reprofile myself given the nature of the production support profile is where you have to do rotational shifts as well as you have a critical timelines to follow. So that's why I was uh, wanted to reprofile myself and that's when uh, like the Tech Canvas course helped me uh, to reprofile myself and uh, after that I was able to move from operations BA role to a project BA profile and uh, yeah so that's been my story so far uh, like with seven years of experience uh, I think initial four years were mainly focused on a uh, production support role and the last three years I've been the, in the uh, business analyst profile and after ECBA I have gained more projects uh, specific role. Oh wonderful wonderful Shalish. So when did you do the ECBA certification? Uh, I did it in September 2020 uh, and I joined uh, Tech Canvas uh, batch in Jan of 2020. All right. So around nine months uh, you prepare yourself for ECBA. So uh, and why did you? Yeah. Please, please uh, go ahead. Uh, so uh, around nine months, but yeah, you can say that, that, that because the pandemic started last year, so I had to lose few months because the work from home was just started. So we were also adjusting with the uh, work culture so that's why it took like two three months of gap in my studies and uh, you might say like three months of actual studies uh, mm -hmm. I would have taken and like few of the gaps because of the pandemic started and the work from home so actually started. All right all right so uh, coming to this ECBA why did you decide to go for ECBA certification? Uh, so initially when I uh, planned for uh, transitioning my profile from a uh, operations uh, or production support role in the investment banking which I was doing for almost five plus years uh, and uh, like was looking forward to move into a, a business analyst profile uh, because I had a uh, very good experiences working with business analysts in my previous organizations as well as my, my, uh, the current organization uh, where I observed that uh, they have the maximum visibility in the project and they're able to uh, utilize their techno functional skills very uh, accurately. Uh, and I, I'm coming from an engineering background, so I did my electronics and telecommunication engineering from University of Mumbai affiliated college. And later on, like got a fin, uh, project into investment banking. That's when uh, the finance started learning finance and more on investment banking perspective. Uh, but the thing which was lagging in my profile was uh, the core knowledge of business analysis. So I wasn't aware how the documentation happens. How does you convey requirements uh, from client to uh, development team? Also, how do you work with different stakeholders? How do you manage stakeholders? And as a business analyst, I observed that they work as change agent. They work as a project coordinator at times, project manager at times. So that's what uh, all was very uh, uh, new to me. And to learn that, uh, I found, uh, like I tried to search a lot of things on internet and then I found this ECB is a core structured program uh, for uh, the person like me who doesn't have a core BA experience to can grab the BA knowledge. And then they can I can apply on my practical uh, world actually like learning the uh, theoretical like learning the theoretical concepts and then apply it in your nice. uh, work. So yeah, that's when I decided to go for ECBA. 
All right. So how did you plan, Shalish, given that um, you were working and then, you know, suddenly this pandemic also struck and then uh, the culture also started changing, as you mentioned that, you know, work from home, though it is said that it is work from home, it is not that easy to, you know, uh, adapt into that culture. So how did you plan your uh, preparation? How did you prepare? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so uh, initially, uh, my plan was to give exam around uh, I think month of March. So I planned for like three months. Uh, I'll give exams mm -hmm. within three months. And uh, no, like uh, no one expected like by Feb, uh, this pandemic started right. hitting. And I think March, around March, the, the lockdown started. So initial work from home time was like a bit uh, hectic. Like I wasn't able, able to find any time to study. Uh, though the course was completed, the projects were completed, but wasn't able to find some time. Mm -hmm. uh, but later on, then uh, I decided that I have to get this certification with this year itself. And uh, as time goes away, uh, like after your course completion, you started feeling uh, like getting disconnected with your, your concepts, with what structure you have followed or what work we have done earlier in the projects or earlier as a study. So then uh, I started uh, planning out uh, my studies. Uh, so what I did, I, I decided a date of exam, a temporary date of exam in my mind. I didn't actually register for exam, but like, somewhere around month of June or July or some August, I have to give my exam. And then I started preparing according to the uh, exam weightage. So I think uh, Tekken was provided a very good comprehensive material in terms of the uh, well, so every uh, chapter weightage uh, and the mocks itself helped me. So what I was doing is the chapter which has highest weightage, I was focusing more on that. I was studying them thoroughly and then going for the mocks. And as soon as I get around 70% plus in any chapter marks, I was moving ahead to next chapter. This I have followed for almost uh, two months. And I think I got confidence that chapter wise study is done. Now I have to focus on a uh, real time mock exam. So I think that's when third or four months I started giving a uh, entire mock exam, the real time mock exam, which I have to like repeat for a few times. And then uh, I got to know where I'm lagging. And that's when I started focusing on the which areas I have to work on which are the particular topics I have to study, like which are coming more as a weightage in the exam. And that's how like that's how the preparation actually helps. So mocks uh, plus a structured way of uh, planning the uh, studies. I think I have followed an engineering way of uh, preparing for studies. So we have a uh, like we have a semester exam like we have to prepare for five, six subjects. I took like uh, uh, divided the chapters like a subject and then uh, allotted my time accordingly. All right, wonderful, wonderful. So yeah, next question is actually, you know, uh, want to know how, uh, what changes you are seeing after your ECBA exam? Uh, so I think uh, after ECBA exam, so as soon as I, uh, so as soon as you do exam, you like get result very quickly. And uh, right. like when I passed the exam, I actually got a very good confidence that I know the, uh, the concepts of business analyst very well. And then what I did uh, was in, within my organization, I asked for a, a, a transfer into a projects BA kind of profile. And I, I was able to show my credentials that this was a, a business analyst certification, which is globally recognized. So I, I, I was very much appreciated and progressively like it was accepted by my managers uh, and my senior stakeholders uh, to give a transition in, within the firm. Uh, and that allowed me to uh, apply the, the concept which I learned in ECBA certification. Uh, in the real time uh, project, mm -hmm. uh, with the ECBA certification, you learn a lot of techniques. Uh, so in, mm -hmm. in real time, you not get a lot of exposure to those techniques. So what happens like now, you know, 10, 15 techniques for every kind of uh, role, profile, situations. And mm -hmm. then you are able to judge which you have to use and which efficiently you can use, how you can execute it, uh, how mm -hmm. you have to document it. So that, that's how ECBA helps you. Uh, of course, on the practical aspects, whenever you actually start doing it, you will learn from the experience. But the conceptual knowledge help you to identify which technique to use at uh, in what uh, circumstances and how you execute it in a better way. That's when I think ECBA helped me a lot uh, during my transition and then uh, started working as BA. All right. So uh, you see that uh, perspective also has changed after your ECBA certification. In the sense, um, what I can uh, sense from your answer that you started giving a lot of solution options, a lot yes. of options, how to, you know, explore options. And then you started, you know, weighing which which one is the best fit for that situation to apply, which technique to be applied to that situation. So, Correct. Uh, 
so you also know that you know uh, uh, you you have different you know you started feeling unlimited with uh, different techniques coming to your mind immediately maybe so is yeah. that so yeah uh, so def uh, definitely the perspectives get changed uh, i'm coming from a uh, as i said like i'm coming from production support background where i've did level 1 level 2 support uh, and level 3 support as well uh, for few like initial few years uh, with the production support like you have a daily targets to meet you have daily activities bau activities uh, but the uh, challenges with the uh, this kind of uh, transition was now coming to projects you have to be a project like flag bearer of project execution you have to make sure the timelines are being followed you don't have a daily task as such i mean mm -hmm. uh, uh, a daily deadlines but you have a quarterly deadlines you have uh, like a sprint deadlines you have weekly deadlines so in order to uh, like follow that this conceptual knowledge helped me like how we i can track those things how can i can fill on fill in those gaps and uh, mm -hmm. how to better communicate to your stakeholders uh, mm -hmm. like as a ba there are certain certain uh, uh, like hats you have to wear at point you have to be a project manager at point you have to uh, be uh, in hat like in wear hat of a day or qa team and help them as well so and and also with the client communication so i think yeah, the, with the ecba certification your perspectives get changed it gets better and you actually understand how ba it ba should work and ba actually works and of course with the practical knowledge you actually gain uh more perspectives and you can keep on adding on your foundation but yeah, ecb is kind of foundation for the transition and uh, starting your ba journey awesome wonderful wonderful so yeah shalish last question a very important question for the audience any tips and tricks you want to you know share with them yeah sure so uh, i think first uh, i would like to say uh, keep a timeline of your preparation uh, you have to have a timeline of your preparation as well as exam uh, what i have like uh, experience most of the cba aspirants uh, like few of my friends also tried doing it uh, like they lose suddenly lose a track uh, i know this is a very big book of babog 500 plus pages we have to read chapter wise so some sometimes people feel uh, left out from the track of progress so you have to keep a timeline uh, like we did in our college days you have to keep certain timeline with the three months or six months uh, keep us uh, some day for your exam in your mind and then start preparing accordingly uh, second thing is uh, mocks uh, i think you have to take your mocks very seriously uh, with the tech canvas mocks really help me a lot because you can actually grab a dashboard of how you performed with particular knowledge area and then you can focus more on that so basically you can also uh, like check your uh, weightages the highest weighted chapters how you performed in those and you have to keep on improving and uh, my personal goal was whenever you score more than 70% that's something very good score i actually found tech canvas mocks mocks were more difficult than the actual exam so it's 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 actually very good because if you're giving going through a tough exams then you get more confident and you are actually already gone through the tough consequences so it's very easy for you during the exams and uh, third would be like don't try to mug up things uh, i think uh, it's in the ba knowledge of bad book itself it's kind of very conceptual in nature you cannot uh, mug up the things because uh, most of the exams you will find there will be some techniques will be asked perspectives will be asked input output uh, they will be asked in the exam so you can go through those diagrams important points but you cannot mug up those so you have to uh, con consider the logics understand the concepts behind it and uh, then you can build your own notes uh, i had a habit of like making your own notes of uh, maybe like input outputs techniques perspectives it can be short uh, simple notes which will like help you to prepare just before the exam so kind of last day revision because it's a very big book you cannot actually do find it revise for 500 page book on exam day or one or two days prior exam so you should have like a chapter wise uh, short notes of yours which you can refer for like last week so which what i did like last entire week i just referred my notes and like i was able to uh, go for exam so yeah these are my three tips and suggestions great wonderful tips uh, shalish much same wonderful uh, tips and uh, wonderful session also so thanks for taking out time to share your wonderful experiences and tips and tricks tech canvas team wishes you a wonderful and a bright career ahead thank you so much shalish you are welcome and thank you tech canvas team for giving me this opportunity and all the best to all the aspirants who are looking forward for uh, ecb and other ba certifications